Hello, everyone. It's Johnny McGovern. And I'm Lady Red Couture. And we're here before the show starts with a very special request. Yes. Lady Red, season two's almost over. Almost. And we are preparing for the biggest, best, gayest, faggotiest, sparkliest, just everythingest season three of Hey Queen coming in March. But yes. We need your help. Oh, we need yeah. to raise some money. Ooh. We need to raise some money, Lady Red. Please give us what you got. We if you don't have it, borrow it. Right. We got to raise some money to make the show bigger and better and gayer and glitterier and sparklier because it doesn't happen for free. We know you love the show. We know we can make it even better and bigger for you, but we need your help. You'll find the address right here. Yes. And you're going to go there and give us what, Lady Red? Money! Yes! There's all sorts of fun prizes, Hey Queen t-shirts, visit to the set, yes. even all the things you see here might be available Ooh. to hang in your home. Yes. Old Lady Red wigs, I mean all sorts of stuff. All kind of shit. So please donate to help make season three of Hey Queen the gayest of all time. Right? Right! Now let's get on with the show. <laughs> hey Queen! If you haven't seen Candace perform, you need to Google it, honey. And you should definitely check out the Miss Continental Frug performance. Oh, yeah, that was fun. I mean, uh, that's like 20 guys and you and a high pony and just mm, yeah. doing it. I'm obsessed with Fosse. That was, he was one of my inspirations. And so when I got the chance to actually do that number with all those dancers, I was like, I'm doing it. It so, was fun. And then I had, before that, I had done Sweet Charity with all the formers on stage. Wow. And we did the whole, the minute you walk oh, in, right. the joint number together. It was fun. Oh. It was so you were doing that. those type of numbers back in the day in yeah. New York. So Lady Bunny loved that. Totally. And so when, in Wigstock, you just put together one of those big numbers, right? With all the, all the every gals. Every year, yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh with every the, year. Yeah, and with the gals, too, we would do like an opening number sometimes. Right, and I stuff remember like that. going yeah. to that. Oh, so uh, I was, good. <laughs> it looked quite different in Wigstock. <laughs> well, yes. Yes, but and we will not be showing movie. a picture of that, it darling. Because you parents, look exactly like you look. My parents, even the other night, were like, we're pulling out all our old favorite movies and watching it. And so we just watched Wigstock. It was such a great movie. <laughs> like, oh, mom. Oh, mom. <laughs> now, when when did you first move to New York? You don't have to tell me the year, but it was in the mid '90s, early '90s, early '90s. Yeah. And so, who was the group that you came I up was, with? I was 12, a yeah. runaway. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, uh, <laughs> who was the group? Yeah. The, who are the the queens oh, that mean, you that you came me, up with that we all know Lena, now? Yeah. Who was, who was Gerlina back then? Right. Really, kind of ran together with. Aphrodite and Mistress Formica and Sherry Vine yes. and Lady Bunny. And, yes. And uh, there was just a ton. Sweetie. Uh, it just kept on going. It's all Miss the legendary Guy, children, like, yeah. All the legendary children. You were children. legendary children upcoming then, but we now were. you've become the Mona legendary Foot. children. Mona Foot. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and like, how did you first, you moved to New York to be, become a star, and then how did you find your way into that, that scene initially? Um, I wanted an excuse to dress in drag right. at the time, and I was like, I love it. It's, right. Something feels really good about something it. Something feels something good about feels these right lady about things. About these yes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I got a job at the rock, well, I got a job at Miss Kitty's Concessions. Oh, yes. As a concession girl selling cigarettes and candy. Amazing. At the Roxy wow. every Saturday night. Yes. So it was, it was, that was my like push into the nightclub scene. And that was the 90s when the big when, clubs. And the Roxy with all the queen. There was no, there were no go go boys on those boxes. No. There was Olympia. Yes. And like all those queens dancing on the boxes in that the 10 foot costumes and it was kind of crazy. It was a magical era and it I only was. caught the end of it, but it that was, so was when bad. things were huge. So good, supper club and and you know, there was just a lot of fun, palladium, really cool. Amazing clubs. moments yeah. of beauty and glamor. It was incredible, it was an incredible school. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. You got schooled at, in by at New York Nightlife. Boy Bar, Night too. Matthew Caston going to Boy Bar and learning from all the girls, the cast of the Boy Bar girls. Now, tell for the children that don't know about Boy Bar, because yeah. that was that's kind of like a, a super legendary yeah. place. It was so the biggest, take us back there. 
Well, Boy Bar was like the biggest kind of downtown uh, put together drag club. Right. And so they would have reviews every week and they would have little pageants and all these New York legends, Raven O would, you know, all these people would be doing drag shows and then you, the new girls would come in and they would be the backup girls for these heavy hitters. And then you would get to a certain point Mostly after Johnny Dinell would would love a number you did, and he'd he'd play "It's Over." <laughs> da, 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 da. If you got the giant Johnny Dinell over, you might be ready for your own drag review. Amazing! Shout yeah. out to you, Johnny Dinell. Hello, love you, Daddy. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. That is amazing. And Lady so, Red, I want to get a time machine and take you back to Boy Bar, have you bring it. Just, and then we'll bring, go back hello. to the future. Baby, they are not ready. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she would fit right in. I think she would, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. For more, hey, hey Queen, check us out on the stream.tv. Subscribe to us on YouTube and Daily Motion, and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And we'll just have a gay old time, right, baby? Yes, honey. Yes, honey. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> hey, Queen.